Now the next part I need to do is I need to decide if I want to keep the um, black rim around the, the edge of the, um, you know, for where the battery goes in. And I think I will. And what I'm going to do is tape that off. And I'm just going to use some simple masking tape for that. And then very carefully, you can see this. Just going to tape right around my edge. You can't see it right now, but a cat is trying to <laughs> stop my efforts here. As close around that edge as possible. <laughs> Kitty, stop. <laughs> Here's my little problem right here right now. <laughs> he wants to paint too. Okay, next step, I'm going to um, pause for just one second. <laughs> okay, I had to let the cat out. Um, all right, so I'm going to do, let's see, the pink with the silver. And I want the pink to show under, and I want this um, shiny silver to show on top. So I'm just going to mix the white and the red here. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the, shoot, I should have done the other one first. Here's the red. And let's mix those two together. See if we can make pink. Now there's kind of a neat, a neat swirly thing going on too, and I could just go as simple as that and do a, a swirl effect. Just paint this right on. This is my bottom layer. And that's the first coat, and I'm going to let that sit. I need to prop it up somewhere. Let's use this sponge. Like that. And that one's going to be a different color. And so I need a, I want to do one matching battery for it. Just have to be very careful around the, my flame end. Right up to the edge. And that's that. I'm just smoothing this out just a little bit. This is drying pretty quickly. Like it'll be, it'll be dry to the touch um, very quickly. Um, but it, you really don't want to use it, you know, right away or within a day. You really want to let it sit um, for its full time. I'm going to take this and just, I got a nice, uh, Bit of paint mixed up on that one. That was good. Oh, and this is, you know, this is the other cool thing too. You know, you can mix and match these, you know, so you could have a pink battery and an orange atomizer. And once the pink battery, you know, dies out and you throw it in your bag, you know, not to grab the pink one and grab a different color one. If you haven't already purchased the, um, multicolor flames yet. This is nice and smooth all the way down it. Okay. Can let those sit. And the pink one is already dry to the touch where I can I can just I can just like lightly tap it and the paint's not coming off. Um, but I'm going to let these sit for, um, for about five minutes and just set up a little bit better. Okay, these have had like a few minutes to set up. And actually while that was going, I pulled out the, um, I pulled my insert out of the, my box and I gave that a, um, a sponging just down the top because I don't mind the, um, I actually don't mind the turquoise on the 
I think this winter green Altoids, or it's around the outside edge. Um, and that looks really very cool. And it, it, I think it'll get a little bit more shiny silver as it dries up. Um, so while I have this out, um, I'm going to do the same sponge effect on the pink ones. And you just want to make sure this was a, uh, another perm-enamel, air-dry, glass ceramic tile. And I just put some of this on the sponge. And then I just wanted to get some of it off so it gives more of a spongy-like look on it. It's a little more spotted. I also fixed this, this and uh, taped it up a little bit. And I'm just going to sponge lightly over the top of the pink here. Now the other fun thing is that the whole thing doesn't have to match even. I could just do polka dots on the on the atomizer if I wanted to. This one though, we're just going to make it all matching. And again, I'm not worried about this filter tip here because it's a um, it's just a holder. It doesn't I don't actually use it for anything else. Okay, well, I've been a little busy while uh, I just took a break there. Um, I painted the top of my Altoid box. Um, I just gave it some, I had this other uh, package here with uh, iridescent paints. So I just did some purple iridescent polka dots on top of there, and that looks pretty fancy. And I'll put my liner back inside. and my enjoy card. So that's pretty simple, done. Pink cigarette, um, I just, and it's got a little, you know, silver going on it. Um, I just put a fresh filter in and stuck the battery in. Now I'm gonna let you know, what I did do was uh, before um, this was completely dry, I did pull off my, uh, tape that was around the edges because I just wanted to check and make sure I, I did get right to the as close to the edge as I could with painting this. I did kind of a partial on the sponging on this one. Um, I did the orange and then I had a blue iridescent which is showing up a little better on this edge than the other edge but you know I like it. It's a little different. This one definitely has a dead battery but what I did want to show you that was pretty cool See if I can take this off without touching it too much. And I'm going to let these sit for, um, for a few days, basically. I'm going to put them aside somewhere, or the cats won't get them, <laughs> and put them aside. Um, I have a black one. And so as you can see, I can actually use the black with my new colored atomizer, and that looks kind of cool as well. Very cool. So that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing me wing it, painting my electronic cigarettes today. Uh, and I also want to make sure you all know, um, Enjoy is now carrying this really cool um, multi-flavor cartridge pack. So you can try different flavors. And I highly encourage you, if you're not getting enough flavor from the regular tobacco or you're just feeling you know, bored with it or whatever, uh, definitely try some of these flavors. Um, but it's just a fun way to try different flavors. And it comes, obviously, it comes in the five pack and in the high, medium, and low. Uh, so I highly encourage you to try one of the multi-packs if you haven't yet. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it.